you cool cats, welcome back to Dungaronpa V3 Killing Harmony. I'm Mina, and I, I, I started to trail off at the end of last episode, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's mostly because I'm, I'm recording a lot of these episodes back to back, so that way when I'm gone on, uh, on my trip that you guys will still have episodes to, to watch. But what I was gonna say was, when I saw that death scene, I did see this katana sticking out of Kaede, Kaede's effigy over there so I want to look at that in fact let's can I not look at it is it not gonna let me okay well whatever apparently not it's not important like hell it's not important okay let me look at the evidence um fatal stab wound the back of the neck Additionally, she has a laceration on her forehead. <laughs> this busty brainy beauty has this all figured out. Huh? You, mean, you know who the culprit is? What was that? Huh? The culprit? Fuck that. Hey. Should we, should we, do we really have time to be listening to her? Wait! Hey, wait! Wait, goddammit! Are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? Just listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me. Listen. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, if you're gonna twist my arm, then I'll tell you. You better thank me for this. You know. I know y'all are dumber than fleas, but even you know how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another purpose? Well then. But I figured it out with just one glance. These are diversions. Let's see. Diversions? Listen up. Yup, the culprit used the wax dolls to distract us from something. Got a minute? What do you mean by that? What? How should I know? Isn't that Sherlock Homo's job? I knew it. You're a waste of time. <laughs> Lucky turned and walked away. I can't say I blame her. What was that? How the hell's her problem? She on a rag or something? Hmm. So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? Their resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know. Let's just see how detailed these really are. Hey. You tried to look up the wax figure's skirt. Hey. What are you doing? Stop that. What? What? I just wanted to see if this doll was wearing panties. Um. Wait, do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend is a doll now? Ah, fucking virgin. If you like a wax... If you like wax dolls so much, then go fuck the doll already. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to Mew is a waste of time. Oh, you're such a terrible person. Um, um, not sure if it's okay to say this or not, but could Tenko be the culprit? Huh? Huh? Tenko? Huh? Oh, it's not like I have proof of anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No. So... You suspect Tenko? Actually, because as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed into this lab. Oh, yeah. That's right. And she did allow members of the student council to enter her lab. Oh, yeah. And she's been shut away here working on the ritual all by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That's true. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council after all. No. It's not that I want to suspect Tinko, but since only student council members would have been left in here. So Angie only let in student council members. That would be Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tinko, and Samugi. Of that group, Tinko is certainly the most suspicious. I don't think Tinko did it. Hey. I just want to confirm something. When we got to this lab, you're sure the front door was locked. Okay. Yes, I'm positive. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. It really is locked. I knew it. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock to open it. She pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. There, open says me. Hmm. 
So, he picked the cylinder lock open. Hey. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock besides him? That's true. It would have been possible from the outside. The monocubs took the key. Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. It would be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. Let me see that key. He, he ate the key. <laughs> I'm not going to do this whole thing. He ate the key. <laughs> so Kokichi's the only one who could have opened or closed the door from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kokichi would have been able to open and close the door from the outside. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as they pleased. Huh? So, the front door was locked from inside the room. No. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Okay. Art Lab's front door. Look at Angie's body. She's body. She's lying face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer look? Uh, okay. Yes, I was planning to. Wait a minute. I'm gonna hurry up and do it. I can't afford to waste any time here. Aki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over to the body. She has no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. Oh, I can look at the dolls now. Okay. The four effigies hung upside down makes the scene. Practically, pra practically eerie. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. If I remember correctly, haven't you made all of these wax figures? Hey, is this rope from the warehouse? You're right. I believe so. That means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten these ropes. <sighs> the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. Warehouse does contain plenty of things that could be used for murder. Uh, um. Anyway, I know that these effigies are wax, but it still creeps me out. That's true. The effigies look exactly like real people. Not just their faces, but their bodies, too. The ultimate artist. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. By the way, why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. Mm, I'm not sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? Right. If they're going to do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit? Angie? Or someone else entirely? I don't get it. Let's look at this katana. This is the one with the with the gold gold uh, gold stuff that comes off of it. The katana stabbed into Kaede's wax effigy. Damn it! Who did this and why? Got a minute? Let me see. He nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Oh. Uh, wait, this is a crime scene. You can't... What is it? You wanted to double-check the katana, right? We can't do that if you don't pull it out. Because... Yes, true, but we have to preserve the scene. Bucky paid no mind to my protest and stared at the katana for a while. Is this... Yeah, it's the gold leaf, right. It's a real katana, but there's gold leaf on it. Okay. Yeah, I believe that's the one on display in the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. Hmm. Is that so? Okay. You can probably assume this is the murder weapon, judging from the blood stains on the tip. The edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be enough to stab. But, but why would they go through the effort of using this as the murder weapon? That's true. Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Could it be? Perhaps it's because Kyo's lab is on the same floor and they just grabbed something close by? They may have been in a hurry. Well... Or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. Huh? A 
long weapon. Okay. My lab doesn't contain swords or any weapons of this thing. Huh? Oh, uh, really? That's true. I'm not sure how Monokuma found out. You must know that I don't use swords for work. Hmm. When I first started working, I botched a mission using a katana. I haven't used a sword since, which is fine because they're a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them personally, just like Angie's was. How did they know all this? Anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand now. Okay. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off that easily. Got a minute? Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I'll have to wash them later. Hmm. That means if someone... If someone used this... Okay, so the fact that the gold leaf is coming off onto her hands has to mean something. Like, either the culprit with left evidence of of gold leaf somewhere or they didn't if they didn't leave it then only the people who knew about the gold leaf would would be would be higher on the suspects if they if they did leave evidence then you can automatically uh remove people who who knew about it Unless they're trying to fool someone. I don't know. Now I'm I, I, I'm reading too much into it. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna put the katana back where we found it. It's too hard to watch. Look away. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, thank you. I averted my gaze and Maki stabbed the katana back into the wax effigy. By the way. Even so, why was the weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? Hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual? Or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder weapon than this. What are you talking about? Then, what's the reason for this? That's... I honestly have no idea. Well... We should investigate where this murder... We should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Okay. The ultimate anthropologist lab? Yes, let's do that. I want to make sure the katana indeed came from that room. Ah, this book. I knew it. This was the motive, the Necronomicon. Hey. Angie tried to perform the ritual written in this book, right? Okay. Yes, if we look at this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. Alright. The Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait. After a while, you should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. So these are the steps for the resurrection ritual. Can't you really believe in this crap? It's pretty obvious that you won't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. It didn't say anything about hanging the effigies upside down. So this was done by the murderer? To what end? There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of the neck, as well as a laceration on her forehead. I knew it. The killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck. A sneak attack, most likely. Well. Then what do you make of the wound on her forehead? Maybe the culprit hit her head. 
Maybe the culprit hit her in the head before stabbing her from behind. But, but our two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid-attack? Oh, yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. I remember. So the wound on her forehead looks deep. But it's not bleeding much. What's going on with these two wounds? Huh? Huh? What's wrong, Maki? You got a minute? Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. What is this? What's this doing crumpled underneath her body? What is it? This is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? Uh, um... I don't know, but this must be related to the case. Look, there are hairs stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? <laughs> Bloody tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? But... I'm surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden under her body. So what? It was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Uh, okay. Uh, well, that's true. <sighs> well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over it. Okay. Well then, it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. Are you gonna die? Sorry. Sorry, joking. I couldn't resist. You got a minute? You don't need to apologize. I was joking, too. It didn't sound like a joke, though. Gonta. I didn't talk to you. Why? Murder at nighttime. Strange. Impossible, even. Why? Why do you think that? Right! Because Student Council made rule that we know go... That we know can be outside during nighttime. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could have happened at nighttime. Do you really think everyone would go along with that rule? What? But it Atua's rule. Atua said he'd punish us if we not follow if we not follow his rule. But, but the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do whatever they wanted. Angie was also working here at night. <gasps> huh? She was! But no way! Student council would never break own rules! Right! They should have been asleep in own rooms! They to set good example to others. Maybe Angie got attacked while she sleep in her room and get brought here? Gonta, idiot. If so, Gonta could have saved her. If only Gonta saw. But Gonta was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gonta no could save you. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside in spite of the student council's rule. Yeah, seriously, it seemed like everybody was was out. Nobody followed the rule. Wait, let me check the back door. This door is the lab's back door. Is this? This door has a sliding lock. It's still locked. That's true. And because no one has used this door since we came in here. I believe Angie locked this door when she came in. It's been locked ever since. Hey, hey. Oh, wait. What's this? Look, there's something gold and shiny on the tab of the sliding ro lock. <sighs> this sounds crazy, what I'm about to suggest. I, 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 as soon as I saw that it was like, it had like a tab on there, I was like, you... If this would be so utterly impossible. I wouldn't... Okay, so... <laughs> this sounds ridiculous. I'm gonna have to draw a picture for this. So, basically, did the murderer, like... Like, somehow, like... I don't even know how this would work! Like, twirl Kaede's effigy in, in a circle, and then, like, it closed the tab? on the door when it like hit up against it how would you have like made that happen though like the odds of it actually hitting that i i just i don't <sighs> i that that can't be it that can't be it that can't be it there has to be another explanation because that sounds stupid <laughs> look there's something golden shiny on the tab of this sliding lock golden shiny could it be is that all right Maki, may I see it for a minute? I'm gonna try moving the sliding lock. So what? You want to unlock it? Go ahead, do whatever you want. I carefully touch the knob of the lock, avoiding the gold parts. 
and softly slid the lock open. Okay. Just as I suspected, the lock will slide without much effort. Hmm. Whether you lock or unlock it, this could be an important clue. Still, it's strange that the front door and the back door have different locks. The front door that we came in from has a cylinder lock. And the rear door over there has a sliding lock. But by the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. Is this... In other words, this is what you might call a lock for a mystery, right? Locked, huh? You're right. Yes, the cylinder lock's key was taken by the monocups. So both doors could only be locked from the inside. Mm. But only if you roll out Kokichi's lockpicking, right? He could have picked the cylinder lock on the front door to go in and out of the lab. So he could have created the lock room mystery. But why would he reveal that to us? That seems like a, a stupid thing to do. Because we already knew that that he, he could lockpick. I knew, definitely. So, he... It's so unlikely that he would have done it. So I'm... I'm not, okay. <laughs> put up the put up the uh, image of all the characters' faces. All right. Okay. No. Kokichi off. There's no way he didn't commit this. It's possible that he locked the door from the outside by picking it after he killed Angie. If I remember correctly, that's true. That's right. Also, he appeared in an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. It is suspicious, but that solution seems a little too convenient. No, he didn't. I don't get... Okay, so I'm guess- I'm assuming, alright? I'm assuming that this locked murder mystery was based off of somehow this katana spinning around and thwacking that thing closed. Like, the killer had, like, somehow, like, twirled her body and then, like, when he, when uh, the murderer left, let go, and that thing like hit the lock closed after he, after he left. I wouldn't. I don't even understand it myself. It doesn't make sense, but it's the only thing I got. There's still more things to investigate. Like what? Am I checking the front door? It's unlocked, but I still think those are okay. What haven't I... I talked to everyone, didn't I? Oh, the pool of blood is something separate? A small pool of blood has emanated from Angie's torso. This can't be from her forehead. Blood is from the back of her neck. This? this blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed. Maybe more. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. Hmm. There were several cool clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Uh, Maki, um, what's wrong? So what? It's not that important, but... The only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like I'd know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at the least. That guy's useless. Anyway. Anyway, let's continue. Got a minute? Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we've found enough clues yet. I don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry you're up. Right. Uh, you're right. First, we should investigate the ultimate anthropologist lab. We may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. That's true. We need to check if the katana really did come from that place. Hmm. Is something wrong, Maki? By the way. It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. It's not as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. It's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. Uh, 
I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana is from... Folded cloth. This cloth. Ah, I see. The white fabric that covers the cage of the cage child. I suppose they already took the cage to the room. It's just the sheath. Clear, the katana was inside the sheath. Okay. Look, okay, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm certain That's of it. That's true. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? It is his research lab after all. No. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken That's it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. Oh? Oh? What are you guys doing here? Ew. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the sounds? <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that's your signature book. Anyway. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Something for the seance? Yeah. Yep. That white sheet over there. We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already. I guess we need that sheet, too. What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff, either. So that means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on this seance before I got the sheet. Huh? Study. So, let's see. Kokichi took a look around and... I heard, like... Some old handmade book. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover, so this must be it. Let's see, what does it say about the Cage Child Seance? So Kichi flipped through the old book and he picked up. Oh, is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can see the Cage Child is mentioned here. Yeah. Yeah, Kia's drawing is the same magic circle as the one in this picture. Um, okay, see, in order to perform the caged child, you need five people, including the spirit medium, in a dark place with no light. If I remember correctly. Just like Kia said. First, draw the magic circle passed down from the caged village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle and rest their forehead on a stone on the ground. Afterward, the other four participants must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. And finally, the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. Also, it says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. Uh, um, the dog god? You mean the wooden dog statue? Yeah. When the preparations are complete, Turn out all the lights to create complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are each standing in a corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the cage child song. After the song, ask, is the cage child, then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. Sounds complicated. But complicated plans have better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works or not, Kyo has been wanting to conduct this seance for a while. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. That's probably why he left the book here, because he can conduct the seance without right. it. Is it even possible? Contacting <laughs> Angie's ghost? If you're so curious, why don't you join us, Shuichi? Huh? Huh? Well, you, know. you should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. The seance hasn't even started yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? I don't understand. No, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> but whether you believe it or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> now you're talking. All right. Well, I'll be waiting for you. One of the three empty rooms will be in the middle one. 
Kokichi spoke as though he was inviting me to go play, then left the room. Hey. You can deal with the seance. I'll head back to the crime scene to re-examine the clues. Hello. So, Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. <laughs> You are most welcome to join us, oh. is what I would like to say. However, only five, including the spirit medium, may join. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. Me? Why me? Hmm. I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. See. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. Why, you? D don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come? <laughs> That's why we're apologizing. Do not mock me! No one's apologized yet. Oh, fine, fine, our bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. How rude! Why would I do that? Stop it. Stop whining, Kibo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> Fine, but I won't forget this betrayal, Shuichi. Why me? What did I do? So then. So now, Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do you understand? Do not enter the magic circle that I've drawn on the floor. It's drawn with purifying salt, so it's easily disturbed when stepped um. on. You drew this magic circle with salt? That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, Terrifying. but it may also unleash a curse. Uh, okay. Got it. Be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Do not worry. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Of course, I also have the cage child song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I have copied the words of the song down here. Please commit it to memory. Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read it in the dark. Huh? You have to memorize the lyrics now? Oh. You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here's the melody. I listened to Kyoki sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Okay. All right, I think I've got it now. Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then, let us begin the ritual right away. How exciting! Yay, we finally get to see Angie! So then... Before that, let us choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. And I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No! No, I'll do it! Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie! That's right! You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way, you can say goodbye to her. And after you finish saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Please. Tenko. By the way. Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So, if you feel like crying when you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. <laughs> You'll feel better when you do. <laughs> I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. Damn it! Venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Yes! Training your heart by crying, laughing, and venting out your anger, Himiko. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> You're probably right. Seems like the two of them made up. That's good. So then... So now that we've decided on a spiritual medium, let us begin. Yes! All right, Himiko, I'll see you later. 
Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Mm-hmm. Make sure you watch your steps if it's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. I have five star flexibility. So then. Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. See. First, we must place this iron cage atop Kenko. I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind walk carefully as not to disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. I shouldn't have lied. I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me! I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Please don't jinx us! <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall take that role. All right, everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. Even with four people, it's still really heavy. <laughs> oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton! No, it is not much more than 175 pounds. Oh, I'm totally wiped. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage was made specifically for seances, so it can hold this weight. Okay, I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing it. So then... This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Got it! Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Well then. The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. We each stood in a different corner. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. So dark I couldn't see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner. 
then began the singing. At last, at last, at long last. Kyo led us all in the caged child song. Young are dog and little lost girl, sealed within an iron cage. At mountain's bottom, within the darkness, at last, at last, at long last. How many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? What was that? Our dog run far away, or did it eat the little girl? Okay, no joke, you guys. I'm recording this really late at night. It is Halloween right now that I'm recording this. I'm recording this on Halloween. It is really dark. <laughs> I don't. I'm. I'm starting to get like really, really sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> at last, at last, at long last. We finished singing the song, but I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was that? Say. Is the cage child Angie Yonaga. He began calling. Now if the medium answers. Say. Is the cage child Angie Yonaga? What's going on? Say. Is the cage child Angie Yonaga? What's the matter? What's wrong? Why won't Angie answer? Hold on. Hiniko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? Mm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um, Maybe it failed? Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? It's okay? Well. J just for now. Confused, I walked along the wall back to the candle and managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. Oh God. Hmm. Oh God. I knew I saw it for a split second. I saw it. Oh no. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? That cannot be. Th th that shouldn't be the case. The sounds was perfect. What? Is Angie not coming? Is that still Tenko in there? Hmm. Tenko? I see, yes. Ah, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> she follows orders well. But how about we let her out for now? Hold on. Wait. Dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Man. Seeing how this was a failure, I don't think any spirit's sticking around, but whatever. No, I see it. Oh god, you guys, I see it. Just like setting it up, Kyo instructed us on how to clean everything up. We were careful to remove everything exactly as the order Kyo directed. Now, I will remove the sheet. Kyo pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Oh. Perhaps something is amiss. <laughs> Himiko ran toward the cage at a sprint. <laughs> Himiko, I told you not to step on the... But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and... Tenko! Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted it up and... Really? 
Who would have thought there'd be another victim in during the investigation? Maybe Monophony's green puke was predicting this tragedy. <laughs> ah. Oh, the puke's color is normal now. I guess it was predicting this. For now. Everyone, please assemble in the seance room. The second body discovery announcement played. It didn't take long for everyone to come running. What? T Tenko? S seriously? <laughs> what is this? How did this happen? How did this happen? T Tenko! Gunter, so sorry! Gunter no could protect you! You got a minute? Shuichi, explain the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, that's... I... I don't know. What's happening? What on earth? Uh, I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Um, I guess for now, you should maybe start the investigation right away? Say, for that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie may have been a different culprit who killed Tenko, yes. What happens in the event there are two murders by two people? What if there are two blackened? We need to find them both at the class trial. That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Uh huh? What would happen? Monadam, what would happen? What would happen? Not that! Why do you look lost too, Monadam? I thought you were gonna run things instead of Daddy! I never expected something like this to happen. I don't know what to do. Really, I don't know. Oh man, they're all so disorganized. If you can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't know what to investigate. Father! The father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. No way! Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us. It's all our fault that Daddy ended up like that. Yeah. Huh? It's all your fault, Monophony? Yes! Daddy, help! We don't know what to do on our own. Ah. At least gotta use the power of love. That ought to snap him back to normal. But that won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's right! No, that's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. You don't understand because you've never been loved before, Monadam. Daddy! Daddy! I love you, so please go back to normal. Father! I want to see you, Father. I love you with all my heart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's better. Oh, you're making me blush! Here what? I'm back! Were you good while I was away? Is a fake Monokuma? Thank you so much, my adorable darling Kashi. With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation. <laughs> oh, that tickles! Father's intense love is getting me all soaked. Daddy, your time feels amazing. This better not awaken anything in me. Man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take time off to relax. Normally, most companies wouldn't even let you take time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is just to leave whenever, whether you get permission or not. Um, huh? Wait, so then who's this Baldy then? Yeah. Oh, just a part-timer. I got to cover me while I was gone. Hey. Here's your pay like we agreed on. Now take it and get out of here! Huh? I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. <laughs> now that that nuisance is out of the way, what were you guys talking about again? Yeah. Huh, that's right. What happens to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? I answer that. Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first served. Huh? 
first come, first serve? Hey, um... The blackened who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. In other words... In other words, if the blackened who killed Angie isn't the same one who killed Tanko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the blackened. <laughs> Basically, Tenko's killer wasn't... Basically, Tenko's killer wasted a kill, and Tenko herself was a waste of a victim. Oh, I'll add this to the school regulations so you can review it later. I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder, too. Dang it! Crap! Oh, gosh, I, 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 I had a feeling I knew who did this murder. I didn't know who did Angie's murder. Angie's murder is a mystery to me, but this one, I have a good idea who did it. Well, hold on. Father! Boy, everything's going so smoothly now that father's running things again. Leader's got to be able to take decisive action. Indecision is just the worst. Daddy! Daddy, you're glowing. You're glowing like a lamp. There's nothing... <laughs> There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. For as long as you live, I will never let any of you go. He just left us behind while he was saying he'd never let us go. That's why he's so amazing. Please look me some more, Daddy. Uh oh. He's gonna kill another one of them. Um, um, so to make sense of all of that. Listen closely. If both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine Angie's killer. Nope. We don't even know if there's a different culprit, do we? Let's see. True. We should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. How exciting! <laughs> Finally, things are heating up. I'm getting so excited. Piece of shit! <laughs> you fucking psycho! Shuichi! Shuichi, this is bad. Huh? This is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone's upset and confused. I'm in no shape to help right now. No. So, this is where you need to step up! Listen up! Listen, Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right then. Let's check the Monokuma file first. I can't believe she died here. The victim is Tenko Chabashira, the ultimate Akira master. Oh. <clears throat> the body was found in the middle of an empty room on the fourth floor. Made at time of death is approximately 11 a.m. The only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. No other injuries were detected. Hmm. A stab wound on her neck. The same as Angie's cause of death. Hmm. It doesn't look like a coincidence. Maybe it's Angie's curse. <gasps> curse? Jeez. God, not again. <laughs> C curse? <laughs> what? Curse! Kaito, calm down! No way there's a curse! Don't screw around! You're the one who's screwing around! Do you want to die? <laughs> oh, that was cute! Um, <clears throat> a dull sound reverberated through the room. Are you okay? Kaito, are you okay? My bad. My bad, Shuichi. Holy smokes, that's a lot of blood. But I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. I'm gonna go get some fresh air, so I'll leave this to you and Maki roll. Kaito left the room, still a little wa bit wobbly. Um... Um, should we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. That's correct. True. We haven't the time to mourn Tenko's death, as our own lives are at risk. This is... That's true, but Angie and then Tenko... 
And to think earlier, I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm sorry, Tenko. How can this be? It all Gunta's fault. Gunta failed to protect friends again. Ah, uh, Himiko. You know what? I'm sorry for saying that you are a killer. Uh, I'm 100% saying that you're a survivor now, actually. You're not gonna be a victim. Ugh. Like, yeah, you're... I'm sorry. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone's panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I'm a detective. <laughs> Well, it's too dark in here. We can't investigate, even if we wanted to. Got it. Couldn't to bring candles from other room to make this room bright, okay? No. No, that won't be necessary. Ah. Yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? Why? Listen up! Show him, Kibo. Show him your new power. New power? His eyes lit up. I knew Iruma. The gorgeous girl genius have installed a new function in Kibo. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. <laughs> shine on, shine on! Shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! Man, what a lame function. You should have made him, like, a transformer or something. It's okay. But it's bright now, so we should hurry and investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Wait, what? How is that part of the... Excuse me? Why is this? Alright. Well... Guess we'll work this from left to right. Hey, Samuhi. <laughs> I, I said things that made Tenko look suspicious, and now this. I'm sorry, Tenko. Stop it. Cry later. What? Huh? Because. Crying will bring Tenko back. If we don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die too. Okay. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit for Tenko and all of us. Yes. You're right. Tenko would want us to figure it out so she'd have no regrets. That'd be the best way to apologize. It's the wooden dog statue used in the seance. I believe it's called the Dog God. Which is the same as it is spelled backwards. <laughs> During the seance, the wooden statue was on top of the cage. It took four of us to remove it. Hmm. Hmm. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. If I remember correctly... Kyo said it was about 175 pounds. That's the weight of two girls. What? What do you know about girls? Have you ever even touched a woman besides your mother? Uh, um, um, what? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway. Is this... If this thing was heavy... If this heavy thing was on top of the cage, then Tenka wouldn't have been able to get out easily. Uh, okay. Y yeah, you're right about that. That didn't sound like you were kidding earlier. It didn't. <laughs> okay. So, there- <sighs> Alright, there's no way anybody removed this dog statue or the cage on top of Tenko. We didn't- We didn't hear- We heard, like, some sort of, like, cracking noise or some sort of- some some sort of noise. I don't know. But I don't like I don't think it was disturbed by any way, like from above. It's impossible. So the question is, is if something was like pushed through this cage or if something came up from below. I thought I saw like the floorboard moved in that picture of Tenko, but I'll have to go back and check or we'll see in a second. Let's go to this white cloth. The white sheet we use for the seance. See, okay, now, in my mind, I only can think of one person who could have committed this murder because 
someone like this this wasn't done in the middle of the seance nobody could have gone in and stabbed her in the back of her neck in the middle of the seance no one could no one could that's impossible it was dark like th the salt would have been disturbed like impossible no way so that means there's only one way this could have been done and that's someone had to set up this murder and since well, there's only one person who could have set up this murder. I'm 99.9999 repeating to infinity sure that Kyo did this. Because not only do I think he did this because of all the reasons I said above, but he's a creepy... He's a creepy creepy. He's creepy. And he freaks me out, and I don't like him. And I'm pretty sure he did it. He did it. He did it. But I don't know if he's the one who did Angie's killing because that one's really hard to figure out. But I'm positive he did this one. Like, so positive. I almost want to say it's 100% that no one else could have done it. And it, But it doesn't even matter who killed her at this point because whoever killed her is irrelevant. <sighs> this was placed on top of the cage. Kyo was the one who removed it. He didn't have time to stab her then. This cloth, this cloth is pretty thick. It's similar to a window curtain. It's completely opaque. And on the back, look, there's a blood stain on it, right around the middle of the sheet. But, but no hole on the fabric, which means Tenko wasn't stabbed through this cloth. She was stabbed while underneath the cloth. Yeah, see, that's impossible. I don't even need to explain how that's impossible. Hole in the corner. There's a small opening in the corner of the room. It doesn't look big enough for a person to get through, but still. A hole? Looks like there's a space under here. Oh, hold on. I can see something below. It looks like something dropped down there. What? Something dropped down there? Wait a minute. After we check everywhere else, why don't we go under the floor and see for ourselves? Okay. Right, let's do it. Alright, let's talk to Maki. Well, do these floorboards seem a little unstable to you? They're tough to walk on. Uh, um... The floorboards aren't nailed down, so they're just lying on top of the cross pieces. That's what Gonta told me. They're probably the reason they're a little unstable. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> they're only laid on top. That's why they're unstable. Well. Oh, the boards are fairly thick and sturdy. I can't imagine they'd come loose easily. Is this... But if someone wanted to remove a floorboard, they could easily do so, right? Okay. Yes, I suppose. Yeah. See, there's no way anybody, anybody could have stabbed her from the outside, so it had to have been the underside. Ruined magic circle. It's the magic circle Kyo drew on the floor. Well, at least it was. It's been completely stomped over. I suppose it was unavoidable. Well... Was this... drawn with salt? Yes. Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. What? Are you feeling alright? You sound ridiculous. Ridiculous? Ridiculous. I have performed many successful seances. Why? I've even had spirits enter my body. I'm right already. Shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. Maki doesn't really... Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of refreshing, actually. But... In any case, with all these footprints, I can't make out the original circle. So what? We'll have to find out in Kyo's lab. It should be written in the Cage Dog Village document. Hey. Isn't that right, Kyo? What? See... Hmm... He definitely did this one. I really feel that way. He seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> Looks like Maki's on to him, too. Alright. Let me look at this marker stone first. There's a rock next to Tenko's body. This must be... Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. 
It is merely needed as a marker for her re for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? Tenko had her forehead on this rock, hunched over. She had to make herself small to fit inside the cage. Okay. Tenko's dead body. She took her last breath, crouched over like this. According to the Monokuma file, her only injury is the stab wound to her neck. This wound was fatal. This must have caused instant death. I didn't hear a scream during the seance. I'll wait. Understood! I will not say a word until the seance is over! Would Tenko really keep her mouth shut despite the pain? Her death might not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. Huh? What do you mean? What's the point? You were concerned about that, right? Okay. With a wound this deep, the victim is too shocked to do anything except die. Uh, um... You are speaking from experience? That's obvious. Of course. Quick deaths are my specialty. Well then, that makes sense. By the way... The real question is, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon around. Well, that's a good point. Right. I don't see an obvious murder weapon. That could be a clue. Tenko's last moments have been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Ugh. Tenko, you didn't deserve this death. Okay, crooked floorboard. Ah, uh, this floorboard is loose. It's the one right under Tenko. Why? Why is this floorboard loose? If I remember correctly. It wasn't like this before. It must have come loose during the seance. Why? Why would it come loose during the seance? But... A floorboard this thick and heavy wouldn't have come loose easily. And someone must have loosened it on purpose. Okay. the cage used in the seance. It looks to be around three feet high and five feet wide. It's a pretty large iron cage. Okay. Big enough for a person to fit inside. During the seance, Kokichi and I covered Tenko with the cage. We were supposed to remove it as well. But it was Himiko who rushed in and removed the cage first. Hey. Hey, look at this. Is this... A blood stain on the bottom of the cage. Probably Tenko's blood, yeah? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Because the blood should splatter. Like, when something... When, when, when a blade enters and is pulled out, or whatever pierces, there should be blood that comes backwards. Like, it should come out. So, something stabbed her from within the cage and pulled out. I don't know how this was done under the floorboards. I can't imagine... Like, here's the thing I don't understand. Like, because I don't think we, we had enough time for, like, Kyo to, like, crawl under the floorboards and then, like, remove the floorboard and stab her and then put it back and then, like, head back to his spot. That sounds so unlikely. So there has to be, like, some sort of trick to this. Whatever this trick is, it stabbed her in the back of the neck and then pulled out and, and tucked away somewhere. I don't understand how, but it's done with this floorboard. I just, I don't know how, but I know who, and I, I've got a basic idea on how this might have happened. <laughs> That's true. Yes, I imagine so. The splatter must have been made when she was killed. What do you mean? Which means Tenko was killed when she was inside this cage. Okay. I think you're right. Tenko went under the cage before the seance. She talked to us while she was under there. She didn't say... Okay, that... Look at that. Somehow... How did that work? I don't understand. Like, look at that floorboard. That's what I meant where I saw, like, that floorboard like that. I don't understand how this was done at all. But when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain the blood stain, right? Huh? I said that in... <laughs> explain that in... in his voice. Whoops! 
If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain this blood stain, right? Hmm. Perhaps she wasn't killed during the seance, but the exact moment the cage was lifted. That, no, I saw the blood. I saw the blood. When we turned on the lights, I immediately saw that little bit of pink underneath. Additionally, the, 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 uh, jeez, oh, what is it? The, the sheet, the sheet has blood on it as well. Which meant, like, it wasn't the ca when the cage was lifted. So it couldn't, it couldn't possibly be Himiko. That is a possibility. Alright, let's talk to Himiko. I'm sorry. Listen, Himiko, you're already gonna survive the killing game. I can already tell you that. Hey! Himiko! Hey, Himiko! Be strong, Himiko! Wait! Kunta, if you shake Himiko that much, she's gonna break! What? But she's not talking! It's like Himiko not even here! Well, she doesn't usually talk in the first oh place. God. She must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's let her be for now. Mm. Oh, okay. Himiko. Why? First Angie, then Denko. How can this be? Gunta's so ashamed. Why Gunta no could protect friends? Oh, Gunta, honey. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I shall become the guiding light that shines on you all. That cannot be. I'm pretty sure you did this. Why? Why did this? I knew it. Thank you. I know the murder was pretty shocking. But of course. Of course. I am shocked about that as well. But why did the seance fail? You performed all of the steps flawlessly. He seems more concerned by that than the murder. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. If we perform the caged child again and summon Tenko's spirit this time... This is stupid. Cut the crap. Just tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Shuichi were present, right? Did she get killed during the seance? I see, yes. True. It may be best to move past what happened to know why the seance I failed. So. Whatever, just hurry up. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spiritual medium, position herself as a turtle within the magic circle so her head touched the marker stone. Then Chuichi and Kokichi placed the cage over Tenko. After that, I placed the white cloth over the cage. Then all four of us placed the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. Afterwards, we stood in the four corners of the room. Kokichi and Shuichi blew out the candles. See, her, okay, here's the other thing. Like, he placed that marker stone. So he decided where this all, this was all gonna happen. So he, he had to have done this. There's no way anybody else could have done this. Even though Himiko was the one who said, let's use the middle room. Which, you know, could, like, say something like, oh, she planned it to happen in this room. She could not have planned how the whole entire setup was going to be. This had to have been done by Koryakiyo. There's no way! Yes. Finally, we all sang the Cage Child song. The seance should have been complete, but... Uh, now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. Yeah. Okay. That's a huge sound. What would that sound even... It's a mystery to me as well. I thought maybe someone had tripped, perhaps. That was a pretty loud sound for someone tripping. Perhaps Kyo knows something. What do you mean? And then what happened? Yes. Ah, 
We called out to her, but no reply came. I had Shuichi and Kokichi relight the candles. And then we removed all the items from within the magic circle in the opposite order. So, like, he had them do do the, the candle lighting and stuff. He had to have been moving around to do stuff in the dark, right? That's why he didn't want to be the one to do the candles. First, all four of us removed the dog god statue. Then I took off the white cloth, and then... Himiko ran over to the cage, and the moment she lifted it... Hmm. Then it sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. But would it not be difficult in such darkness? Besides, she was inside the cage, yes? Then? Then when was she killed? Well, that's... Yes, that is a problem. I see, yes. There is another problem. Oh. And that is, why ever did the science fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Perhaps. Maybe someone moved from their corner. Did someone else sneak in here? What's the point? Obviously, since the seance was clearly a sham. Maki never was one to pull her punches. <laughs> Woo. Hey. Maki, we finished investigating up here. Perhaps we should check under the floor? By the way. It seems pretty dark down there. What should we use for our light? We should true. use Kibo? Oh. Let's bring a candle. With Kibo's light from up here, that should be fine. Then I'll go get a candle. Move that floorboard so we can go down. Okay. Okay, got it. Pulled off some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Maki. Then we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floor. Oh, what? There's blood on two parts of the floor. Sorry, I'm staring at that trying to... What? This is a lot more spacious than I thought. You could move pretty easily on all fours. Okay. Let's look around for clues. Well... It would look pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling around in this dusty place. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dried blood? There's a blood stain on the ground underneath the loose floorboard. But that's pretty far from where Tenko's blood is dripping down. It's under the same floorboard, just at different ends. Why is there blood here? Hey. Hey, the back of this floorboard has blood on it too. Oh. You're right. There's a little bit of blood on the underside of this floorboard. What do you mean? Did Tenko's blood splatter here when she got killed? That's true. I wonder. I can't really be sure yet. Okay. But these bloodstains here are completely dry. There must have been some reason these particular stains are dry. What the? Okay, hold on a second. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. Whoa! I didn't even realize I could turn the camera. First of all, there's a hole here. Some of the wood has corroded and is broken off, so you can see into the next room. This is the wall of an empty room, right? Looks like there's wood along the wall. This part is rotted away. It looks like natural rot. This hole wasn't made intentionally. But I can get into the next room through here. That's true. If I remember correctly, the room next door is also empty, right? Then the culprit could have gone from room to room by moving under here instead of using the hallway. No. True, but it would have been difficult moving around under the floor. We did all right because we had a light. Without that, it'd be pitch black. That might make it impossible to move around in here. No. Then they could have used the light, like we're doing right now. Well. True. They used a light to move around under the floor? Is that possible? 
Are they trying to accuse Kibo of this? Is that, like, why I had Kibo's thing? There's a sickle here. And there's blood all over it. Okay. The blood on the sickle is fresh. This is it. This is the murder weapon. Is this... This came from my research lab. Huh? It did? Well... The sickle can be used to assassinate a target. It can be thrown without losing any lethality. And you can hide it under your clothes, too. Well... If she was attacked with this, she wouldn't stand a chance. The blade is about six inches thick. That's right. Since Tenko was in the cage, she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. But... But even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tenko in the cage? The blade could fit through the gaps of the cage. Could it reach her neck? That's true. The cage is three feet high. If you were... If you... The cage is three feet high. If you were to stab it with a six-inch blade... Well, it would depend on Tenko's posture, but I don't think it's impossible. And her posture is the question. Hey, hey if the weapon is down here, the culprit must have thrown it away, right? That's true. Perhaps after killing Tenko, the culprit threw the sickle under the floor in the dark. Or they could have been under the floor the entire time. Either of those is possible. Alright. Blood dripping from the gaps in the floorboards. Fresh blood. This is definitely Tenko's. Is there something... Wait. Cut cross piece. Oh! I didn't even see that. Wait, why would someone cut that? Why? Oh. oh, look. Part of the cross piece that supports the floorboard is cut off. That's true. It's near the loose floorboard. And the portion missing is about the same width, too. And from what I can see of it... That's true. It wasn't broken off naturally. This was cut by someone. There should be saws in the warehouse. So that... So they could have used that. The question is, why? Hmm. Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard, so it might not fall if this portion is missing. Then... So what purpose did it serve? The floorboard underneath Tenko's body is loose, and the cross piece supporting it has been cut. If the culprit did all this, then why? So, okay, I don't... All right, so I know it's trying to say that Kibo might have done this. I think that's what they're trying to say. Is because Kibo left this room and then... But I'm I'm going... Here's the thing. I don't think Kibo could have done this because I believe Tenko was, like, laying on this piece, right? And I just can't see... I just can't see, like, how this would have worked from below. Like, an attack from below. Because you would have had to entirely move Tenko. Tenko's body. And that's a lot harder to do on all fours and then just push that up. Like, that would have done stuff. What I think may have happened, but I don't know how this worked, is... Like, because, because this crossbeam piece is missing, because it's missing, you could actually, like, press down on the floorboard. And depending on how this this lines up with the cage, maybe it's possible to have like, like, like stamp your foot on this this piece right here and lift the board. But what I don't get the the part that confuses me entirely is how did the sickle work to all this? Like, I don't get that. I don't understand how this. See, I, I don't understand how this all went down at all. This is very confusing. Like, the setup for the murder doesn't make sense. I still think it's... I think I still believe it's Kyo. Because he had to have set this all up. It's, there's no way it could be anybody else. But I just... I don't understand how he did it. Is that all right? I'll be shocked. Like, if, if Kyo is not the killer, my mind will be so blown... I, like, you guys will just, like, 
the sounds of my brain exploding. What I also don't get is the dried blood. I don't get that either. Unless, unless that dried blood, that dried blood is um, Angie's dried blood? Hold on. Here's, okay. Considering the laceration, the injury on the foreheads, the victim's forehead was not bleeding as much, much as it should. Considering the laceration, the injury on the victim's forehead was not Okay, so clearly, clearly this bloody duct tape was used to, to tape over Angie's forehead to keep, to keep the blood from coming out. <gasps> I, oh my god, I got it, I got it. Kyo did this entire murder. He did both of them. It makes so much sense. I got it, I got it, I got it, guys. <laughs> I got it. Oh, you're, you're, you thought you were sneaky, but you're not sneaky. Okay. He killed... He killed Angie. He killed Angie in this room. And... And... Like, I, I don't know how he killed her, but he, like... He taped up... He taped up her forehead so that way that would keep... That would keep, like, the blood in. Because he needed to make... He needed to make the blood in this room... Um look like this was her murder area but she was actually murdered she was actually murdered in this room which is why there's dried blood on that floorboard victim was killed by a fatal stab wound to the torso lacerations on her forehead okay maybe maybe she wasn't killed but but she was attacked okay maybe she was just attacked in this room and I'm guessing, like, the tape was to cover up the blood that was coming out of her head. So that way she didn't drip blood while he was carrying her to the art room. And then... And then he... And then he, like, actually did the killing in the art room, and that's where all that blood came from. Okay. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. This feels like the strongest case that I have. <clears throat> Maki, you want to head back up? How do you ask? I'm starting to get fed up with all this dust. After Maki and I crawled out from under the floor, we put the floorboards back and returned to our investigation. By the way, We've only been investigating this room. Are you sure that's wise? Huh? What do you mean? Because... If Angie and Tenko had different killers, then the black and we need to vote for is... You're right. The culprit for the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. That's what Monokuma said. Then... So instead of investigating Tenko's death, shouldn't we be investigating Angie's? Uh, okay. Y yes, of course. But... This is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died need to reveal the truth of both of their deaths. Hmm. Well, I understand why you feel that way. If you plan on investigating the other crime scene again, we should probably hurry. Let's talk to you, even though I know you don't have anything important to say. This investigation is over and shut, and it's all thanks to me for giving Kibo his new function. Now the Kung Fu's killer is obviously... One of you stupid assholes who signed up to do this bullshit seance in the first place. No, uh, no not necessarily. Huh? huh? Seriously? The seance was clearly set up to lure her in and kill her. How could someone who wasn't in the room kill her? Could it be? So you believe that Tenko was killed during the seance? Fucking moron! There's no other possibility, shit for brains. God, you don't even know that. It's true that Tenko was alive before the seance began. Tenko answered Kyo, so at that point she was most certainly alive. But when the candles were relit, she had already been killed. Yeah, see, like, Shuichi, come on now. I know we want to investigate everything, but she was clearly alive before and clearly dead after. There's only one time she could have been killed. 
That means she was killed in the dark. I'm positive. What time exactly was Tenko killed after the candles were blown out? That may be an important point of this case. It was clearly when we heard that that loud thudding sound. Thump, boom, boom sounds, whatever. When I came into the hallway, a scene more surprising than I could ever imagine unfolded. Okay. What the f It's a lie! Jesus Christ! Oh my god, you stupid idiot! <sighs> oh my god! Oh, you little brat! <sighs> you... Hee <sighs> did I surprise you? Were you gonna scream and cry in terror? Huh? What, what are you doing? Oh, oh sorry. I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is real blood. Why? Okay, so what are you doing? I got curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Then suddenly, <laughs> I stepped through the floorboard. Huh? You stepped through a floorboard? So Jeez, that got me good. Because of this, I tripped and fell pretty hard. Got a minute? If you're going to lose consciousness, do it after you tell us everything. Ah. Oh, sorry. My bad. I guess there's no cross piece supporting this floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> what bad luck. The cross piece was gone? Does that mean... <gasps> huh? Yes! It's definitely him! It's definitely... It's definitely him! Eliminate Himiko from this list of possibilities. One and... Like, okay, so the only doubt I had, the, the point... The point zero 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 one percent chance of this being anybody else besides him was this was Himiko somehow, and that she was killing Tenko because Tenko killed Angie or something like that. Like that was my only that was my only other like that was like such a stretch. But like the reason why I thought that was because she was the one who selected the middle room, but Kokichi just told me that there was no cross piece. In another room that he examined, the I'm guessing the room next door, which means that, which means Kyo, which means Kyo got rid of the cross pieces for all three rooms, and then because he made it seem like he made a choice with like, with like, who, what what room should we pick? So that way he's like, oh, I couldn't have possibly planned out this murder because I didn't pick which room. But he he made he made this this thing happen this trap worked in all three rooms. I see. Okay. So it, he definitely did this. I just don't understand how he set up the the sickle. I don't understand that. At least not yet. Confidence. Dreams. That's what the killing game is all about. Killing game fans. Hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes! Baseball, soccer, mobile games, they're all nothing compared to the killing game! The killing game just can't be beat! Behold, students, the entrance to the trial grounds! I guess time's up. Oh man. It's because of you guys, I didn't have enough time to check something. Huh? What were you trying to check? See? I wanted to re-research the seance again, so I brought this document with me. But unfortunately... Yeah. Is this exactly how the, the thing was set up? Hold on, hold on. After Tenko's body was found, that magic circle was trampled on that made it impossible to check the original shape. Hmm... I couldn't find anything new that could be a used as a clue. Kyo perfectly reenacted the seance as what was written in the document. He drew his magic circle in the same exact way as in this picture. 
Not only that, he used the same exact tools, too. Nothing suspicious about the whole thing. Well, I wanted to check the finer details, but I... I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> At the class trial. So, see you there. Kokichi left. A blood loss clearly affecting his footing a bit. Bloody Kokichi's been added to your truth bullets. Let me read that. Let me read that again. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, ah, let's go too. That's true. Yeah, okay. Is Maki nervous? I see, so even she gets nervous sometimes. Die. What are you staring at? Do you want to die? You're joking. It's it's something else. <laughs> 